All right, this video is going to show you how to create multiple calendars within one calendar. So by default, um, when you set up your Gmail account and you click on calendar, it'll take you through a small little overview and eventually you'll have my calendars over here on the left. Uh, so you, by default, you have your name and you have tasks. Okay, so you can turn tasks on or off simply by clicking the calendars on the right hand, on the left hand side with the little color block. When you click them on, you can see all the calendars and all the events that are that are there. You can also add calendars to an existing calendar. So you can have your primary calendar, uh, but over here where it says My Calendar, there's this little drop-down menu, and it allows you to create a new calendar. So when you select this, so say you have your primary calendar, or pay, say you want to uh, share a calendar with one, some of your students uh, or maybe parents or your club or organization, something separate from your primary calendar. Uh, when you select create a new calendar, uh, you're brought to this screen where you can have some options. So you can uh, enter the calendar's name. So let's just say this is um, Okay. Um, organization is, will always be Grand Dunn School Regional Schools. Uh, description. Location, you don't need to really have one. Um, we'll just put mass, but it's really unnecessary. Uh, time zone, you want to have this set to Eastern. Uh, that's very important, uh, just so you know that the times and everything link up with everyone else's calendars. Um, and then you can share this calendar. So a couple things. If you select share this calendar with others, um, you can select this box and notice that it already checks the box share this calendar with everyone in the organization Groton Dunstable Regional School District. So this is where you want to be careful. So by default, this is unchecked, which means that the calendar is only visible to you and whomever you share it with. Um, if you want to share this calendar, uh, with everyone and make it public, you can check both of those boxes. Also, over here you have options whether how you want people to see it. So if you want someone to see your main calendar, but also know that you have book club meetings, but you don't want to reveal the details of it, you can say, uh, see only free busy, but hide the details. So this means that everyone can access your, your English class book club calendar, but it won't be able to see the details of the event. So it'll just say you're busy during that time slot. So this is a nice way to kind of hide uh, things that you don't want maybe everyone to see uh, for your club. Or you can also see all events in detail. So you have the options to toggle between both um, in both sections. Okay. Um, if you don't share it with, with public, uh, you can still share it with just specific people. So if I share it with um, myself, you can share this with it, and you can also give people certain rights and restrictions. So now that I'm added down here, I can go over here and say make changes and manage sharing. So this means that this person on here, who's, who's me, will be able to add events, will be able to make changes to events, uh, will basically be able to have a calendar with someone else. Um, if you don't want that person to have all those rights, when you add them, you can give them certain privileges. So let's say for example I remove myself from that calendar and I'm going to add someone else. Okay. I'm going to add someone but before I add them I'm going to select how I want them to engage with the, the calendar. So I can add, allow them to make changes and manage sharing. So that means that the person you add will be able to not only make changes but add people to the calendar. Um, you can have someone that, that it can make changes to just the events. Um, they won't be able to share it with anyone but they'll be able to manage events, create events, um, edit events. Um, you can have it where someone just sees all the event details. So for example if you uh, have this with your students um, you can have it set to this so that students will be able to see events or upcoming events but they won't be able to change or toggle um, the, the contents of that event. Um, or like I said before, you can have it where the person can only see you as free or busy and they won't see any details about what that event is. It'll simply say you are busy. 
So when you let's just make someone make changes and manage sharing. And we're gonna add the person over here. And when we add them, they now have this basically super administrative uh, option. Um, you can obviously go back and remove that person uh, and add them again to kind of give them different privileges. Um, when you're done with that, um, you can go back to your calendar. Oops. You can select that down here. You can select create calendar. And in a few seconds, you'll notice that your changes will be saved. And now you have a new box over here. Uh, a new tab, English class. Um, so what this means is that you can create events for two different calendars. So this one I have where I share it with everybody, everybody can see it, but this one's only for my English class. Only the people I've invited to it, say my students or people in the book club can see it. Um, now when I go to add an event, um, I have this drop down menu. So I could say book club meeting, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. and then I can select which calendar I want. Um, I can select English class and then create event. So now I can see the different colors and I'll change this color over here. So if you want to change colors you can simply go in here uh, and make this a different color just to make them stand out from each other. So you can have all these colors happening uh, at one time um, and different calendars that people have different access to. So it's a nice way of you know organizing multiple calendars in in one spot um, sharing calendars kind of organizing your entire life within this this form so that's how you create calendars uh, you can create multiple calendars you can continue to go through and, and create new ones um, and uh, also you can subscribe to other calendars so real quick I'll show you that um, down here I have contacts birthdays and holidays how you access those is if you go down to other calendars, select the drop down menu, and you can go to browse interesting calendars. When you're in this, you can access all of these different holidays or these different um, calendars. So if I go into, uh, I want to add the Jewish calendar, uh, Jewish holidays, and I six subscribe, and they have sports. So you can actually add your favorite sports team. So you can go in and say, let's do more baseball season, Major League Baseball, and let's do my favorite team, uh, the Lincoln Phillies, and I said subscribe, and they have more up here. Um, you can do phases of the moon, um, uh, public calendars will be in there. You can do, uh, let's just do phases of the moon, so we'll go in here, subscribe, and now I'm going to go back to the calendar, and notice that my calendar just really filled up. Um, so when I scroll down here, I have all these different calendars that I'm now subscribed to and added to my uh, big calendar. Um, I can also turn these off just as I turned off the, the uh, calendars that I've created. And then finally, what you can do with calendars is you can subscribe to someone else's calendar. So if I want to subscribe to um, my calendar, or I'll say Andy Marcinic since I'm in a different view here, um, I can subscribe to his calendar, or my calendar. Notice that when I subscribed, my calendar now shows up down here that I'm subscribing basically to myself. And notice that it says busy on all these slots. When I select it, it doesn't give me any details, but it tells everyone that I'm busy on this time. So that means that I've set up my calendar specifically to um, be private uh, so that I don't want people to see the details of why I'm busy. I just want people to know that I'm not available during that time. Um, so this is a great way of creating new calendars, adding calendars, being able to toggle between different calendars in your main calendar, um, sharing a calendar, and being able to subscribe to um, other calendars as well.